this one's from Aiden Smith. Uh, I have a question about the PTSD segment. Given that throughout both world wars, criminals were used, is it logical to say fully insane person, sociopathic or psycho or psychopathic, could develop PTSD despite their unhinged nature? So one of the interesting things is uh, essentially when you take a sociopathic person, and I believe, according to my wife, and I don't want to throw her under the bus with this, but supposedly psychopathy isn't what we call it anymore, or it's not known to be actually that. So I can't remember what she said, but... The point is this, there are actual physical structures within the brain that stop people from socializing effectively with those disorders. Now, would that stop them from getting PTSD? I believe in psychopathy or maybe it's sociopathy, uh, you view humans as tools, not as actual living beings. So would that somewhat protect you from the effects of war? I think so. However, witnessing something horrible, you might be less affected, but your own life being under threat, I still think that would have an effect on pretty much anybody who has a functional brain.